And now to more concerns for England ahead of the World Cup with news. Lucy Bronze has had surgery on her knee. She's ruled out of Barcelona's Champions League semi-final tie with Chelsea tomorrow. Anton Tolui is in Spain for us. Anton, tell us more about the full extent of this injury. Yeah, Lucy Bronze has undergone a knee operation, a keyhole knee operation. She had it yesterday, but the club and the player herself very much sort of trying to allay people's fears. We heard from Barcelona head coach Jonathan Heraldez a little earlier on. He said, look, she's experienced dealing with knee injuries. You know, we expect her to be back in a few weeks. Barcelona have a big game, obviously, here against Chelsea tomorrow night in the second leg. Uh, the Champions League, she obviously won't play a part in that, Barcelona then have five league games and potentially a Champions League final before the end of the season. So it'd be interesting to see whether she's back in time for any of those games. Lucy Bronze herself was also taken to social media to post a picture of her smiling from her hospital bed. I know if somebody had been inside me with a, with a knife, I wouldn't be smiling, but she certainly was. Look, saying, look, successful knee surgery, in good spirits after my knee op yesterday. Thankful for all the kind messages. I couldn't ask for better support. It's currently working hard towards a speedy recovery to get back on the pitch with my team. So Lucy Braun's very much in good spirits, and that'll be great news for England head coach Serena Wiegmann, of course. England go into the World Cup in, what, 87 days' time, their first game? They go into it without captain Leo Williamson. Millie Bright won't play here in Barcelona for Chelsea tomorrow as she recovers from a similar knee operation. She's out for a few weeks as well. So England's three at the back four either out or dealing with knee injuries. Not exactly a great place, but people trying to stay positive here in Barcelona about the future of Lucy Bronze. OK, so bad news for, for her. Uh, Barcelona without bronze then, but they could have one of the best players in the world back to face Chelsea. Not just one of the best players in the world, Rob. Back to back Ballon d'Or winner. Alexia Pateas was here training a little earlier on, and her head coach, Jonathan Rathers, has not ruled out her making her return from her ACL injury here tomorrow night against Chelsea. She hasn't played competitively since June when she ruptured her ACL in the warm-ups to the European Championships. Pateus, obviously, just a huge, huge player. She's the biggest player in this club. Her, her image adorns the side of the stadium here. She's known as La Reina, the Queen. She's held in such high regard. She was a season ticket holder as a kid. She used to come here with her family. The fans absolutely adore Alexia Pateas here. It's a huge boost for Barcelona going into this. Even though the chance of her being on the bench is big, big news over here. So it's going to be fascinating to see whether Pateas is given a run out against Chelsea. But again, this is a Barcelona team A, in really, really, really good form. They've won all 25 league games this season, conceding just five goals. And, of course, they've got some of the biggest names in world football. And Kira Walsh, of course, the world's most expensive player. Carolina Graham Hansen, who's got the winner in the first leg against Chelsea, was excellent. And, of course, Aitana Bonmati, who's seen as one of the best midfielders on the planet as well. So they are already well stocked, even without Lucy Bronze, and potentially throw in a Ballon d'Or winner as well tomorrow. Yeah, Barcelona looking in very, very good place.